Ah, Master Elrond. Allow me to present to you Farin of Erebor, a very valiant dwarf. Indeed. It is an honor to welcome one so brave to my home, and your companions as well. I am grateful for what you did at Fornost. If Agandar's forces had joined in the hunt, there is little chance that I and my charges would have made it here to safety. My thanks. Are you the lord of these halls? Yes, I am Elrond Half-Elven, lord of the refuge of Imladris, or as you know it, Rivendell. Half-Elven? Are there men in your heritage then? Both my sire, Earendil, and my mother, Elwing, had fathers who were of the Edine, the most noble of the men of old. They and their descendants are called the Perenthil, which means the Half-Elven. Are you then of mortal kind, like other men? To each of the Perithil is given a choice, whether to become mortal or to accept the life of the Eldar, the Elves. Long ago, I chose to be counted among Elven kind. My own children will face this choice as well. I'll admit I'm surprised a dwarf can find so warm a welcome in the hall of an Elf Lord. Conflicts there have been between our folk in the past, but you are one of the trusty folk of Durin's line. More often than not, your people and mine have been allies and friends. I'm glad to see you made it here in one piece, Aragorn. But I still have no idea why your mission was so urgent. I think it is time we told our newfound friends what they have gotten themselves into. Kandalf! I should have known you would be involved with this somehow. Indeed. Wherever there is trouble and strife, and the enemy is stirring, there you will find Gandalf the Grey. I believe I have begun to glimpse the truth, yet I would gladly hear your explanation, Mithrandir. You have more than earned such an explanation. Tell me, what do you know of Isildur's Bane? Isildur's Bane? Isn't that another name for the Ring of Power? Quite right. The Ring of Power. The One Ring. The Ruling Ring. After lying lost and nearly forgotten for centuries, Sauron's Ring has once again been found. Do you mean to say the Hobbit Aragorn rescued has come into possession of the Dark Lord's Ring? Aye, that would explain those accursed Black Riders. But what is to become of the Ring now? There is no safe resting place for the Ring, not even here in Imladris. It is a danger to all who come near to it. There is only one course left to us. The Ring must be destroyed. To do so, the Ring will need to be cast into the same fires from which it was forged. Those of Mount Doom, in the land of Mordor. The Hobbit, Frodo Baggins, has agreed to take it there. It cannot be that you will send a halfling alone and unaided into Mordor. No, certainly not. A fellowship will be formed. A fellowship of nine. Nine walkers set against Sauron's nine black riders. Among this fellowship will be representatives of all the free peoples of the world. Elves, dwarves, and men. Edegorn and I will both be going. What about us? Is there nothing we can do to help? The Nazgul and Agandaur are dire threats. We must learn all we can of their movements before the Fellowship is to depart. Scouts will be sent out in every direction to scour the lands around Rivendell. Your aid in this would be of great service to our cause. Very well. Where should we start? Agandaur is our chief concern. Although the Nazgul are powerful foes, their mission here in the north is abundantly clear. We can only guess what Agandawa may be planning, or where he went after he escaped from you. I suspect he may be planning to move against us here. Sauron's hatred of the Elves is very great, and he does not forget the hand we played in his defeat during the War of the Last Alliance. If it is strength he wants, he may well find it among the Etonmors. You know that region better than I. What can you tell me of the Etonmors? The Etonmors are a spur of the Misty Mountains, lying almost directly north of Rivendell. 
It is a wild region of very rugged terrain, home to many trolls and giants. I myself was in the Etin Moors but days ago. I saw no sign of Agandar's presence, but neither did I encounter trolls. That fact alone is troubling. It could be that they are gathering in force somewhere among the Moors. If that's so, we don't want them taking us by surprise. We'll make our way to the Etin Moors and see what we can find out. From what I have heard of you, from Aragorn and Elrond's sons, I expected no less. Still, you have had a long road and hard fighting to get this far. Take what time you need to rest and recover before you set out. The Aten Moors are a dangerous place for the unprepared. The hospitality of my house is yours for as long as you wish. This is rough country, no mistake. But so far, we've seen no sign of trouble. But the moors stretch on for many leagues. It would be easy to miss something in these rugged crags and valleys. Let us continue the search, but be wary. More than one ranger has been lost in these wild lands. Greetings, my friends. I could scarce believe what I saw from above. But elf, dwarf, and man battling the enemy together, such things are not often seen. I knew it had to be you. Valoram, it is good to see you. I never thought we would meet again so soon. Nor did I. It does seem a strange coincidence, but a happy one nonetheless. We were told the Ettenmores were dangerous, but the place is thick with enemies. Is there something going on we should know about? Indeed there is. The orcs and trolls of the Eden Moors are gathering to follow in the wake of Bagrisar, a corrupt stone giant. The foul folk respect his strength, and they will follow him for plunder and the chance to do evil. The giant must be stopped before he can bring this army to bear against our friends and allies. Gandalf the Grey told us he traveled in the Eden Moors without any trouble only a few weeks ago. But look at it now. Enemies are thicker than fleas on a warg's hide around here. These moors are always dangerous. A breeding ground for trolls and orcs. But even here, it is unusual to see so many enemies openly assembling. The presence of Bagrasar makes them bold. They believe he will lead them to the bloodshed and plunder they crave. And it may well be, unless the giant is destroyed. Any chance there will be more than one giant to deal with? I do not believe so, for we have learned Bagrasar is an outcast among his own kind. They disowned him for past crimes, and will offer him no protection from our vengeance. You and your kin live in the Ettenmoors? No, we keep our areas atop the high peaks of the nearby Misty Mountains. We have come to the Ettenmoors in pursuit of Bagrasar. An enemy of yours is an enemy of ours. We'll join with you in the hunt for this giant. Your aid would be most welcome. Together we may be able to best him. Every hour he lives, his following grows greater. Let us press on! Ambush! It is finished! My people are avenged. And behold, here come your kin. My lord.
It would appear that you have done our work for us, Belaram. Not I, Lord Gwaihir. Your thanks belong to these three. Andriel, Farin, and Aradan. It is they who rid us of Bagrasar. The same three that saved you at Fornost? Indeed. A remarkable chance that we should meet again. If chance it was, your fate seems strangely intertwined. But be that as it may, we are doubly grateful to you. First for saving the life of Belaram, and now for slaying the giant. We're glad your fallen kin have been avenged. That giant was a threat to all free folk. It's only right that we stood together to destroy him. Well spoken. But I wonder what purpose you had for coming to the Etenmoors. This is no place for idle wandering. We're looking for a servant of the Dark Lord, a man called Agandaur. Have you seen any sign of him? Belaram has told us of that one, but I fear you have come too late. We have searched the Etenmoors thoroughly in our hunt for Bargrazar, yet we have seen no sign of this servant of the Dark Lord. If he was here, we can be reasonably certain he is here no longer. My people will work to disperse the enemy forces that remain in the moors. We will be on guard against the return of Agandaur. Then we should return to Elrond at Imladris. He will be anxious for news, and we have already been long away. I will arrange for a messenger. My lord, I owe my life to these three. And I too believe Agandaur to be a grave threat to the free peoples of the north. Eagles no less so than any other. If you would grant me leave, I wish to accompany them and aid them in their quest. You ask a great deal, Belaram. I may have need for all my followers soon. Yet I perceive a great destiny awaits these three, and it seems you are now part of it. Very well. I will grant you permission to join with them for as long as you see fit. Unless Belaram plans to carry his friends like sheep in his talons, he will need help. If it pleases you, my lord, I will gladly accompany them as well. I too have a stake in this quest. Let me be the third. So be it. Three who cleave the air to match three who walk the earth. May fortune favor you all. Arminel, Baron Thor, you shall be at Belaram's command. Obey his word until such time as you return to us. Now I must depart. Many forces are at work across Middle-earth and many events take shape. I must consider what part the Eagles will play in them. You've been a great help, as the Eagles so often are. Thanks and farewell. <laughs>